Hi, this is Mr. Bizey, and today we're going to take a look at the Black Series Darth Vader three-piece helmet. So here is the Darth Vader Black Series helmet. Um, and when I saw the pictures of these, I knew it wasn't completely accurate. I'm still not sure the dome is quite tall enough. And there's something kind of wonky about the face that's a little off. Uh, but it's still far better than anything Hasbro's given us in the past. Uh, it definitely looks more of that deluxe helmet look. I think the Ruby's helmet from a few years back is a little bit better, although that was uh, symmetrical. Whereas this looks to be the slight asymmetric that uh, the original Vader helmet had. And the eyes, I believe, are a little bit bigger. That's probably needed because it's sold as a toy. And you need to have so much uh, space for you, people to see or something. But I'll go ahead and take this apart. We can take a look at all the details that come so on. The nice thing about this is the pieces all attach by magnets. You can see the magnets here in the collar piece. And if I open, if we look inside the dome there, you can see magnets there on the top of the dome. Um, so that's kind of nice. It makes it easier to take apart. We take a look at the face mask piece here. You can see it's got a lot of nice detail to it. Just, I, I really like, we've never had this on a uh, Toy Vader helmet before. Inside, we actually have kind of detailing on the inside too, which is nice to see. They, they went a little out there for that, which is cool. None of it's painted, it's all, well, actually those do look a little gunmetal gray in there, I guess. And we have kind of a padding up here. Now I had never gotten any of the Black Series helmets before, other than the Poe Dameron, I got that on clearance a while back. And that does look good. And the collar piece, you can actually separate this off of here. It actually does this on both sides so that you can attach it to yourself. I'll show more about that later. It has a little button here for when you want to make the sounds. I haven't put batteries in this, I'll have to check that out. It does have inside the mask here, you can remove the venting here to make it uh, a little more breathable, I guess. And the dome itself, like I said, it's far better than like a dog post or the previous Hasbro releases but uh, I think it's still a little bit small. But uh, I'll go ahead and try some batteries with this and put it so on. I think this has the most hidden battery compartment I've ever found is it's actually right there. It's when you have the collar on, you don't really see it. So let's see what kind of sounds it makes. That was pretty loud. So what we're getting here. You can press it again. I'm assuming the more you assemble it, the better it does. Let's find out here. See how the magnets go together there. It made a noise before when I did this. Oh, there we go. And uh, maybe we'll put the uh, helmet on too, the dome. Oop. It does not make any extra noise when you put the dome on. So let's see what sounds we get now. Basic breathing. I don't know what's all we got. Maybe it's got a voice changer inside. I'll have to check it out. So when I put the collar on, I already know I can't put, I can put the back piece on and attach it. Uh, the only problem is I have a very short neck and I'm not exactly skinny, but, um, it's, this fits fairly snug on me, and you actually see my cheeks bulging out there. But if I put the collar on, I actually can't attach the helmet to it. You still get the, that cool look here, it's kind of nice. I see maybe my staff picture for next year with this. But let's see, we attach this. This is where the magnets really help. There we go. Okay, Let's see, no standard breathing here. It doesn't seem like there's a voice changer coming out at all. Now we put the dome on here. And you know, it's a pretty good Vader mask. I've had, I've had a Dawn Post Vader mask since what, 1993 I think it is. And when I got it, I knew it didn't quite look right. This is far better than what I had back then. More expensive too. I mean, I it was 50 bucks on Amazon when I got it. 
Although, man, granted, the Grand Don Post in 93 was about 60 bucks when I got it. But um, still, it's a very nice upgrade to that. It's kind of hard to see there. I think I still prefer to make my dark helmet. But, uh, you know, it's still pretty cool. Yeah, that dome definitely isn't quite right there. But it still looks a lot better than Don Post. So when you take it off... I wish it made something when the, the uh, dome came off. That'd be cool. But you get... You get that sound too when you take the, the helmet off, which is pretty nice. Oh, it's pretty good. So one last thing that this has is it has this little plastic piece that you can just kind of wedge in there to help display. I think it goes on that side. Let me see if it works on that. I guess if you really wanted to make it work on the front, you could. You can see how much it tilts it up when you do that. But it's to help display it a little bit and keep it steady. So I think this, more than anything, is to go in the back. So it's for the uh, the dome going on because you can see it kind of rocks right now if I add it in. It now looks pretty good. It doesn't rock or anything, so it's pretty nice. You don't have to get like a mannequin head or anything for it underneath. So I would recommend this, if you can, especially if you can find it on a good deal. Uh, like I said, this was about 50 bucks on Amazon when I got it, and I had like a $25 gift card from somebody, so it really cost me 25 bucks. That was a really good deal. So I, yeah, I'd recommend it. It's pretty cool. Unless you have like amazing 501st quality uh, helmets or something like that. Uh, this is a, a nice substitute for people who don't get in all that. So I thought I'd do a final comparison with a very nice Vader helmet I have. Uh, I'm not sure where this came from. A friend of mine happened to get it to it for me. Uh, it is very damaged. So uh, one day I'll see about fixing it up. I'm just worried about uh, ruining the paint job on it. As you can see, this one has like the gunmetal gray alternating pieces on it, which was on the original Vader helmet. You can see how that dome looks a little bit bigger. What the faces look like. I think these come out further than this. Try to get the same angle on that so you can see. Maybe the eyes aren't as big as I thought. Hell, they're a little bit, they're not at the same angle so it's hard to see exactly everything. But I mean, you can see a lot of minor differences in it. Um, you know, who knows what this, this is uh, probably from a helmet kit or something. I know if you want to buy just the parts to do those, those usually run like three, four hundred dollars. If you want them painted and everything, and then they cost a lot more. So, you know, that's up to you what you would like to do. But I happen to get this uh, for from a friend, and uh, you know, maybe one day I'll be able to fix all this up and that sort of stuff. But that gives you an idea, kind of looking at more of the type of helmet you might see at um, at a con or something. Which I don't know if this is quite up to quality of 501st or not. It still looks great to me. And a Hasbro helmet here. So on grading on this helmet, I'd give the sculpt about a 90. It's a great mass-produced helmet. It's not perfect. The helmet's just off a little bit better. But it is better than the Don Post helmet and the previous Hasbro voice changer helmets by far. But it's just missing that last bit. I think the cheeks are maybe a little bit big. And when you compare it to something like the 501st quality or Novo's helmets, you see the difference. But those helmets will cost you a lot more. and you, Or you're going to have to have a lot of work to put in to customize and make them happen. The features are nice. I give that about a 95. I like the sounds. Uh, I thought there would be a voice changer of some sort, but there's nothing. Paint haps, I mean, it's 100%. I mean, how could you really go wrong with this? The paint haps are perfect. Um, unless you wanted to go for a new Hope Vader, which would have the gunmetal um, alternating in there. But I would I would say because of the three-piece on this, this is more a Return of the Jedi helmet anyway. Um, but there isn't that much to paint anyway. Uh, overall value, um, I give an 85. It seems really expensive, uh, at $100, uh, I'm glad I got it for a heck of a lot cheaper than that, but uh, I'm also still getting used to the higher prices we've been getting over the last five to ten years, more the last five years, it seems. Overall, I'd recommend this helmet. I give a, a uh, final grade of 92.5%. I, I really like it. Uh, I'm looking at that Stormtrooper helmet that came out a couple years ago. I'd really like to pick that up, but uh, I don't want to pay a whole lot for it, so we'll see if that actually happens. So this is something I ordered from Hobby Link Japan. It was one of those I saw it on their site. I didn't know what it was. I, I still am not sure. I haven't opened it yet. <clears throat> I thought I'd open it here, see what it was. Uh, they did send me a, a nice Japanese Kit Kat with it here. But uh, I, you know, it's like 20 bucks American. So I figure, you know, it's Darth Vader. I like Darth Vader. We'll see what it is. For 20 bucks, I can wait and see. And it took, of course, it's an import takes a little while to get here so let's let's see what this actually is oh, there's a little 
assembly involved here. Are there any instructions? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, his head popped off. I think there were a couple versions too. Uh, there was like a kind of a statue silver version. Looks like it's basically a statue. We have a cape to go with him. A lightsaber, and it looks like a display stand. Let's see how this all goes together. Oh, he fell over. Lightsaber and display stand. Okay. Kind of look at this and. Whoop, his head popped off again. Alright, so we have his body, his cape, <clears throat> this is lightsaber, and two pieces to a display stand, and well, now his head's a separate piece, so. Looks like display stand is fairly simple here. Uh, I'm, hmm. I'm assuming something in here. Let me take a look. So here we have it all set up. The display stand was weird to figure out because it actually holds up his cape. Well, it goes back into the cape area like that so that he can stand up correctly. It's a very dynamic pose for him. But it's not poseable, it's just a statue. Probably a little bit bigger than a, like a six inch figure or so. It's pretty cool. Pop the head off and take a look at the sculpt on that. The sculpting looks very nice on it all, all over. It's a good Vader helmet sculpt. It's uh, definitely more Empire Jedi rather than a New Hope. All in all, I'd say it's pretty nice. It's, it's got a good dynamic sculpt. And it was, this would be a fun piece to put with the Vader collection. So that was a look at the Black Series Darth Vader three-piece helmet. I got a great deal on this, which was definitely why I picked it up. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn fun for, you know, a uh, mass-produced product. Uh, if you want something better, you can go with the Novos, have the custom-made type stuff. I'd say maybe even the Rubies looks better, although I kind of like the features on this, especially with the three parts to it. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Check out my other videos that are out there. Uh, you can always just, you know, click on my, uh, my page and check out what else I have out there. And you can subscribe to see anything else that's coming up. I know I've been a little slow going on reviews lately. Uh, life's just been kind of getting in the way. I've been very busy. But uh, I hope to get some, a few more reviews going here very soon. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy your collecting. So just so you can see how bad it is on me, this is, I've actually got the collar hooked on here and everything. As you can see, it's, it's actually down underneath my chin. It is more of a collar. It has more to do with the size of my neck than anything. If I try to put this on, I can't quite get it to attach here. As hard as I try, it will not attach. Let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna attach. So I end up with this space right here. Uh, it, it doesn't look quite right, of course. So I can't use the collar when I do this. So with some finagling, I was actually able to get this to attach even with the collar on, but my nose is about right here being pinched by the whole thing. You can probably hear that.